Hi, my name is Greg Bonnet, and I'm a senior consultant with the Ironside Group. I'm here today to talk to you about extending and enhancing your Cognos reports with a powerful JavaScript library known as jQuery. If you like today's presentation and you would like to learn more about the techniques covered, feel free to email me at greg at ironsidegroup.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash greg Bonnet. The Ironside Group has been a trusted Cognos and IBM Cognos partner for 11 years running. Our core practice areas are in business intelligence, data warehousing, analytics, and we offer a full range of standard or fully customized classroom training on the entire suite of IBM Cognos products. If you'd like to learn more about the Ironside Group or you're interested in additional tech tips and tricks for IBM Cognos, please visit our website at ironsidegroup.com. The challenge we are presented with today is how to best go about enhancing Cognos reports to be more interactive and meet the expectations and needs of the modern analyst or consumer. When I think of great user interfaces with truly useful interactive elements, I'm reminded of websites like Kayak.com, Gmail, and Zillow. With the release of IBM Cognos 8.4.1, we are now able to build or enhance web applications with data from Cognos reports using Cognos mashup services. But what do we do when we want to enhance reports from within Cognos Viewer or Cognos Connection? To date, the solution has been to place an HTML insertable object in your report from within Report Studio, and then simply embed your standard JavaScript code within it. This approach is indeed popular, and there are dozens of examples of such techniques available on the IBM Cognos knowledge base, but we have observed in practice that it can be less than ideal. In some cases, the JavaScript code is complex and requires that the report author be at least JavaScript aware to deploy the solution. There is also the risk that IBM Cognos naming conventions will change and the JavaScript code that relies on them will be rendered inoperable after an upgrade. This is where a JavaScript library like jQuery really shows its value. What is jQuery, you ask? Simply put, it is a framework that greatly simplifies and condenses complex JavaScript code that is needed to traverse and manipulate HTML documents. jQuery transforms these routines into a concise and easy to read meta language that is based on the cascading style sheet or CSS version 3 set of standards. It's easy to use and some would even go as far to say it's fun to develop with. It also handles all of the complexities and differences that exist across browser platforms and versions. jQuery is used by a number of high-profile companies and websites, including, but not limited to, Google, Netflix, and Dig.com. Another one of jQuery's major strengths is extensibility. The framework was designed to be extended and augmented in a plug-in-like manner. jQuery has amassed an enormous library of plugins that provide functionality such as interactive charts, Excel-style table manipulation, and advanced form validation. In addition, jQuery can be paired with its visual library, jQuery UI, to deliver stunning animation effects and a host of off-the-shelf interactive widgets. These off-the-shelf plugins can be easily modified to work within the Cognos Viewer environment, and if designed properly, they can extend and enhance your reports without the report author having to write a single line of JavaScript code. The simplistic nature of jQuery makes it much easier to make quick code changes or updates, even in the event that naming references are changed within Cognos. We will now move on to our first example. There are some occasions when a simple list is the best way to display a data set, but you still want to be able to identify a few specific rows without having to rely on predefined filters or conditional formatting. To solve the problem, we have used an off-the-shelf UI widget as the basis for a Kayak.com style rate slider plugin. The result is a highly interactive, sortable list that was implemented without the report author having to know any JavaScript. As you can see with our plugin enabled, we can now attach any number of Kayak style rate sliders to list columns. Automatically, the sliders are configured to uh, adjust their range from the, the minimum and maximum values of those columns that we've configured them to. Now we can quickly sort through large volumes of tabular data. In addition, we've added click sort in the column headers, so we can even further narrow down exactly what we're looking for in our list.
In our second example, we want to implement a tree map style data visualization that can be used to quickly and easily show the relative value of rows within a data set. To do so, we took a plugin from the jQuery plugin library and modified it slightly to work within Cognos Viewer. As you can see, using our off the shelf plugin, we can render a tree map object uh, based on a Cognos list object. In a tree map, or in this particular case, the size of the map cell. Um, so Central Europe here is derived from the uh, the value of the current year revenue in this list. Uh, so Central Europe having the the highest revenue for the current year has the largest cell. In addition, we can kind of show another value um, using the color, which we've inherited from conditional formatting that's based on the percent change to last year column. So we can actually set the color in using conditional formatting in our list and then we've configured our plugin to inherit that conditional formatting uh, when rendering the color in the cells. So this doesn't require that a report author need to know how to configure the plugin or, or do any custom coding. We, we've tried to push all of the heavy lifting and configuration back into the Cognos object. With drill down enabled, we can see how this behaves interactively as well. As with anything, there are a few caveats to be aware of. In these examples, there are no AJAX calls being made. All manipulation is done on the client side within the browser, and as such, performance will be dependent on the number of rows within the data set and also the efficiency of the client browser. In our testing, we found that modern browsers such as Internet Explorer version 8 and Firefox 3.0 and higher perform the best. But steps can be taken to tune and optimize your JavaScript code for use with IE7 and such information is widely available on Microsoft's developer website. As with any JavaScript application, be sure to keep your code centralized for easy maintenance and also follow published best practices for developing jQuery plugins to ensure that your solution is simple and easy to implement.